good evening guys and uh, welcome to the webinar first of all um, i would like to thank you for joining us uh, on the today's session so my name is rishika umar and uh, i'm going to take um, just few minutes of your time to explain you the simple ground rules and uh, give you a quick introduction about our company so uh, we have uh, set certain ground rules for this webinar you all will be on mute mode and you will be unmuted at the end of the session for question answer round during the session if you have any query you can type in the chat window and our technical team will answer that as soon as possible uh, this webinar is being recorded and uh, we'll be sharing the recording with you all for the future reference let me check i have already uh, we have started the recording let me check it once again if it is on or not yes so we are recording this webinar and you will uh, you know you can uh, check this uh, check this recording uh, on our youtube channel for your future reference it will be uploaded uh, within 48 hours on our channel so you can subscribe to our youtube channel we will provide you the link of our youtube channel on the chat window coming to the uh, giving you a quick very in, uh, quick introduction about our company we are globally recognized and the most trusted devops certification provider we design devops certification program and award accredited certificate basically our concept is to provide experiential devops learning for it engineers and other it professionals apart from this we also provide career counseling mentoring training to the fresh graduates and post graduates from different universities across the globe you all can visit our website the link will be provided to you over the chat window or either you can you know go through the website link www.devopsuniversity.org we'll provide you the link on the chat window and you can you know visit our website for more information on the same coming to the very important slide of this webinar so we are uh, you know uh, having some on spot offer for you for today's webinar attendees we are already running quite a few discounts on the cost of this program and for the people who have joined this webinar we are offering it on the instant 10% discount on the course fees which is already discounted actually so the link will be provided to you over the chat window uh, my team is you know putting the link on the chat window you can use that link and people who wants to enroll for this course can avail this offer of getting the instant 10% discount on the course fees so you'll get this course on uh, 266 usd flat our next batch is uh, going to start from uh, 11th of march and um, you guys can you know check out the details on the link provided to you on the chat window yeah coming to the next slide so we have uh, the certain uh, customer testimonials have a look at it what our customers have to say about us you more so guys uh, there is an another offer which we are going to you know provide you for uh, the webinar uh, attendees we have this offer if you know we are providing the free tutorial download to you guys i am going to give you the link over the chat window to you and you guys can copy that link and go on that link click on the details fill up the details on the form which has been provided to you on that link and you get the pdf instant pdf download free pdf download for the tutorial available out there so this offer is only for the webinar participants i am giving you this link over the chat window just a moment i am sharing this link
again we are uh, giving the certificate of participation as well so that certificate of participation guys you will get um, at the end of this webinar yeah so i have already shared the link uh, for this uh, free pdf download over the chat window guys click on that link and you can easily download the pdf uh, from there so without wasting any time without you know taking any more such any more time i am you know handing it over to our uh, trainer so just to give you a quick introduction about our trainer also guys um, just a moment yeah i have already shared the link with you on the chat window yeah so anuj is basically having uh, more than 10 years of experience in the same field so anuj you can take this forward i am uh, you know going to share the link for certification of webinar participation at the end of this webinar so maybe quite a few more people will be joining in between so i'll you know announce this free tutorial uh, download in between of the okay. webinar also uh, now uh, anuj you can take this forward thank you so much for that uh, welcome everyone to this webinar and uh, i hope everyone is already aware of the agenda that to what are the different topics we are going to cover so i'm just going to uh, like quickly share up my screen just let me know if everyone is able to see my screen can i get a quick thumbs up if uh, everyone is able to see my screen yeah it's visible great fantastic perfect so coming to the topic of uh, today's webinar and uh, this is just uh, you know like an uh, yet another uh, uh, like a webinar which we are conducting and uh, we keep on uh, like uh, doing these different uh, uh, you know like a kind of an uh, kind of the uh, you know like a topics we frequently do these kind of a webinars and this is just uh, one of uh, the another webinars which we are going to conduct here so please uh, get you know like uh, be connected with our and uh, we frequently conduct uh, these boot camps for you guys here now today's topic is gitops i mean it's something which is very very important from an industry perspective because uh, so far uh, you know you might have uh, gone through some of our previous uh, webinars also where we are talking about cicd pipeline cicd execution but now industry is totally moving on to a different approaches right because uh, uh, it's too much for certain organizations to really go for the cicd workflows cicd automations taking care of the uh, core deployments uh, like a jenkins pipeline so there is a huge complexity is there right plus on top of that you need a certain skill set and certain key professionals to work uh, in these different technologies so to come up uh, or to come out of this uh, mechanism so we have got a gitops right which is not only going to help us to implement ci cd pipeline but it's also going to help you to uh, reduce the efforts and uh, give you a kind of uh, quite a uh, like a cloud based and uh, quite faster pipeline execution so without even having an infrastructure because it's not any easy task for every organization to go and uh, procure an infrastructure have a jenkins server have a particular uh, uh, like a, you know code build and deploys performed there it's it's not an easy task it's not an kind of an easy activity here so definitely when we work in the organizations we are not uh, dependent on uh, like a uh, you know couple of servers uh, our infrastructure is very vast and uh, sometimes it becomes very very difficult for us to you know even handle that kind of an infrastructure so gitops is basically going to help us to see like how the things can be managed in a better way and uh, we can uh, get the infrastructure maintained so we will be touch basing on gitops i will give you also a difference between gitops and uh, the devops uh, gitops workflows uh, gitops uh, tools and uh, you know certain solutions like uh, aws devops azure devops and uh, the github action so i will touch base on these different technologies so that uh, you guys will be able to understand that how these different tools are 
really going to work and uh, a short demo. I will be showing it up uh, with the GitHub actions here. I could see. Perfect. Now. What exactly is GitOps? See, GitOps is not uh, something new or uh, it's not a kind of a substitute of DevOps. It's just, uh, uh, you know, explaining or uh, giving us a possibility or a functionality that if uh, we feel that uh, having a uh, build server, having a CI server is too much of efforts, we could uh, go for uh, this kind of a quick uh, infrastructure where we don't have to uh, like uh, manage any infrastructure. But yes, a kind of a cloud infrastructure can be provided to us, which can be used to uh, create our CI/CD workflows or CI/CD pipelines. GitOps is uh, uh, basically an implementation where we will be able to uh, implement CI/CD pipelines, see continuous integration, continuous delivery, continuous deployment. I mean, whatever the things you wish, like you wanted to do, you can achieve it up there. But the best part is that uh, when you are going for the GitOps, you don't uh, need any uh, kind of uh, uh, like uh, any kind of infrastructure like Jenkins or uh, you don't need any kind of an uh, like a, a tool like a license of Jenkins or you know those kind of stuff there. So as a developer, you don't have to depend on DevOps engineer because not every organization can uh, procure or can have the uh, DevOps teams. So for those organizations where the developers is doing a majority of the work, this GitOps is going to be a blessing. So it gets combined with the different tools. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the integrations are possible and number of integrations are there. You want to integrate uh, with the Docker, you want to integrate uh, with the Kubernetes, you want to deploy to AWS, you want to deploy to Azure Cloud. You don't have any kind of uh, restrictions or limitations as such. So any kind of an integrations uh, is something which we can go and we can perform it up with the help of GitOps here. And this is exactly the advantage which we are coming up over here. Right, but again, let me clarify that GitOps means that uh, you would be able to handle or be able to implement CI/CD pipelines, CI/CD execution without even learning or putting an efforts on Jenkins. And also these uh, pipelines are going to be quite faster and quite efficient because it's not going to take much resources. Uh, you working up in a GitHub, uh, doing the development in GitHub. In GitHub itself, uh, what will happen that uh, you will be able to like uh, manage the CI/CD workflow here. So that's the uh, kind of an advantage which we are going to get it up here. So this is just a kind of an another uh, uh, setup or an implementations which we will be conducting and uh, we will be like uh, taking care of those possibilities here. Now. There are different transitions which have happened over the period of time. I mean uh, like uh, the, the couple of years back uh, there was an era where we were doing uh, the PowerShell bash these kind of a scripting uh, languages uh, we were using. We were, you know, like uh, implementing that stuff. So using these kind of a different programming languages, we were automating our workflows or whatever the uh, automation which is required. So we were handling that stuff. Uh, from there, the uh, new tools came in and uh, Chef, Puppet, Ansible, Solstack. We moved up in that kind of a directions and uh, we, you know, like started uh, working up or using those uh, different configuration management tools. From there, we started uh, up uh, with an infrastructure as a code. I mean, we started to using the tools like, uh, uh, you know, uh, AWS CloudFormation, Terraform, ARM, we realize. So we started up uh, in that direction also that, uh, okay, this is the different uh, tools which we will be like implementing and uh, we will be setting up here. And uh, then, of course, we have uh, a GitOps, which is the current trend, right? where uh, whether it's a configuration management, infrastructure as code, CI CD pipeline. Uh, on top of that, uh, this CI uh, CD Git based uh, workflows is also available there. So every couple of years, some new transition is really happening in the industry. And this transition is really going to help us to uh, uh, understand that how the things are really going to work and uh, we will be able to get that kind of an output here. 
So that's a part of the process. That's a you know a part of a mechanism which is uh, really going to be done and uh, going to be achieved here. So this is just a, a way of uh, implementation, whatever the things we are going to conduct. Right, and who knows like uh, in coming years what uh, new thing is going to come and uh, will be like uh, coming up over here. No one knows uh, that kind of stuff here. So definitely it's a new concept. It's a new uh, like uh, uh, stuff which is really going to help us to understand that how the things are really going to work and uh, we will be able to get that kind of an output here. So definitely that's the uh, execution which we will be following here. I mean, you might be thinking that what's special about uh, GitOps here? What's special we are getting, uh, you know, with the GitOps? Well, why we are not uh, using the, the uh, Jenkins here or any kind of, of those stuff? So you can see here, in case of DevOps pipeline, you have a development team who is doing the code changes, code modifications in the version control system, and then the continuous integration and deployment or delivery is happening in the build server in a CI server, which is like Jenkins, Team City, or Bamboo. But in case of uh, GitOps, what's happening is that uh, we are not uh, pretty much uh, doing uh, the workflows management uh, through Jenkins or through the build server. So we are uh, pretty much managing the workflows uh, as an app, uh, like from a GitOps perspective, like uh, we are uh, only having a single tool, which is known as Git. So Git, uh, version control system is only going to be available there. So as a developer, we are going to do the changes, code modifications and everything to the uh, Git version control system. And from that only, uh, you know, you wanted to do a deployment to a Kubernetes. You wanted to use Ansible, Chef, Puppet or any tool you wish like you wanted to utilize. You will be able to handle that kind of an stuff here. So it's basically a kind of an execution which is uh, uh, really going to work. And uh, you will be able to know like how these uh, uh, mechanisms are really going to be managed here. So this is a primary difference between GitOps and DevOps because you can see like in DevOps you have to depend on a, a CI server or a CI tool, which is like Jenkins, Team City, or Bamboo, or maybe uh, some other tool in the future. But when it comes to GitOps, GitOps means like you are only interacting or having an uh, like a uh, interaction with the Git. Uh, hub account and uh, you know from there only you will be able to go for that kind of an execution. So that's the you know like a mechanism which uh, really goes and uh, we you know like uh, make the benefits out of that. All right. So this is what I can say. GitOps is uh, like uh, in a nutshell, right? So you have an uh, infrastructure as code. You have uh, the different components, and uh, these different different components are really going to help me to understand how these different workflows are really going to work, and uh, we will be able to get that kind of an option say. Right, so. If I wanted to summarize the uh, over here, so GitHub is something where um, everything is going to be Git version control system. Now it can be your Bitbucket, GitHub or GitLab. It doesn't really matter because all of them uh, provide this kind of an options, right? It's not only GitHub which is providing you that uh, feature in GitHub. It's called as a uh, GitHub by actions in case of Bitbucket. It's Bitbucket pipelines in case of GitLab. It's going to be CICD pipeline, so different tool and uh, different functionalities uh, we really have over here. So using which we understand that how these things are really going to work here. So that's pretty much what GitOps is in kind of a nutshell here. So the moment you are done with the changes as a developer, so uh, it gives you a flexibility that uh, you can go for a faster releases and faster configurations without even uh, performing uh, any kind of a manual uh, tasks or activities as such. So that's the uh, kind of an uh, benefits which we will be able to get here. So this is the kind of an uh, implementation which we are going to touch upon here. Now let's talk about GitHub Actions. 
I mean, uh, we are pretty much talking about if I have an uh, yeah, this is the kind of an architecture. I will uh, show you the options on GitHub Actions directly. So uh, when it comes to the GitHub Actions, so what happens is that uh, uh, consider that uh, there is an integrated CI server which is available within that. So the moment uh, it, it can handle any kind of a workflow. Uh, I mean, if you have a kind of a Java, Node.js, .NET, Android, you name the programming language, you have the workflows designed and available. And uh, the good thing is that uh, you don't have to individually go and design these workflows. There are multiple workspace uh, or the marketplace, uh, like uh, the uh, uh, you know options are available there. Right, so uh, there are a lot of, uh, you know, kind of an, if you go to the marketplace, like you wanted to integrate uh, with the uh, Kubernetes, you wanted to integrate uh, with the Tomcat Apache, Sonarcube or anything, any kind of an integration you wish, like you wanted to achieve, you wanted to do. So you can uh, definitely go and uh, you can perform it up from the GitHub Actions here. So that's definitely the kind of an uh, implementations uh, which we will be able to perform over here in this one. Now, when it comes to the GitHub uh, action, so uh, you know uh, it actually works on the uh, push, like a code push. So the moment uh, the code is is push the version control system, so the uh, you know like an uh, the code will be built out, and uh, whatever the activities, whether it's uh, like a code deployment or code changes or whatever the things is there, it's definitely going to happen, and, and uh, we will not be able to. Uh, we don't have to do any kind of a manual operations here. So it's going to be very, very flexible. So you uh, because the biggest question comes in that uh, do we have uh, integrations just like in Jenkins? We have the integrations available. Yes, definitely we have so many integrations uh, available over here. In case of the uh, like a GitHub action, which really helps us to see like uh, how the implementations are really going to be functioning here. So definitely that's the kind of uh, you know like uh, the options which we will be following and uh, we will be generating here all right and uh, i will also be showing you a small example where we will be like uh, seeing that how we can add some workflows in github actions and how uh, we can uh, get started with the implementation so we will definitely uh, touch base on that and uh, we will see like uh, how uh, the uh, setups are really going to be functioning here so we will definitely talk uh, talk about or we can work with that kind of an approach here All right, perfect. Second, I'll show you the things from scratch. Now let's say I have an uh, see. Like I was saying is that uh, it's not like uh, only available over here. So if you talk about. Uh, you have multiple solutions available. So every tool, every Git uh, hosting platform is basically uh, like having an option that uh, they can uh, go ahead and they can use this uh, feature and uh, we can uh, definitely see like how that kind of an implementations is uh, really going to work and uh, we will be able to like uh, provide uh, that kind of an options here. So definitely we have that uh, kind of an flexibility 
and uh, this 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 different uh, you know like an options are there whatever the options uh, you wish like you wanted to go and uh, you wanted to implement and uh, you can definitely go and you can take care of that kind of a stuff here so definitely that's the approach uh, which we will be like following and uh, we can generate here now when it comes to the github action because that's the main thing which we have to touch upon here so right now, um, if you go to the uh, there is a tab called GitHub Action, you will be only be able to see that if you have somehow the ownership or a shared access, right? So then only you will be able to uh, see that particular option. Otherwise, it will not be visible to you and uh, you will not be able to see that kind of an options here. But yes, uh, you will be able to go ahead and uh, see like, uh, yes, we are going for the GitHub Actions here. Now uh, this is where you can put up your pipelines. Now, what we can do is that uh, over here in this one, we are uh, going to uh, see like uh, how the uh, implementations are really going to work and uh, we will be like uh, definitely uh, going to uh, take care of the changes or the different different modifications here. So that's pretty much uh, what we are trying to do and uh, we are trying to perform over here. All right now. So uh, Anuj, I'll take a moment. I just need to announce this in between because I have announced it uh, when there were very less participants in the beginning of this webinar. Uh, guys, we are providing a link to download a free PDF over the chat window. You guys can click on that link and uh, just fill up your details on the form and you get the free tutorial PDF uh, instant download for the thing. Anuj, you continue. Sure, thank you so much. Yeah, so guys, let's let's, uh, let's add the workflows and uh, you know, let's see like uh, how this workflow is really going to work so that uh, we will be able to get that kind of an options. So when you go to the GitHub actions, uh, you will be able to see like if there is any kind of a pipeline or uh, those executions are uh, really available there. So we will be able to uh, know that stuff. Uh, just loading one second. OK, now these are just, uh, you know, the previous uh, executions which is available there, the previous workflows. But uh, you if you, you know, you have a repository, if you get uh, any kind of a code repository, so def definitely in that case, it's going to be like the available in that way. So I'm just going to share this repo here. I'm just sharing up uh, this report with everyone. Uh, guys, are you able to see my screen now? Changed. OK, perfect. So um, I have given you the uh, particular link here, right? So that's like something which I have uh, given. So uh, pretty much uh, we have to uh, like uh, add up a new workflow because uh, right now what's happening is that uh, I don't have any workflow there and I have also shared up uh, the code repository to you so that uh, you guys uh, will be able to like uh, see that uh, how. Uh, you can go and uh, you can have that kind of an access to the source code here, so that's definitely what you can access and you can utilize. So I'm going for the uh, like pipeline execution. So there is a new workflow option of label there. When you click on that. Now here different options are there. I mean like uh, you can choose uh, different options of uh, your choice. Uh, for example, uh, here 
uh, if you see that uh, right now there are some suggestions as per my repository which is like uh, docker images built out because it detected that uh, there is a docker file uh, uh, available there right so uh, you can see like uh, the docker file is present so due to that it's showing me suggestions about docker uh, you also have an uh, like an options uh, the uh, you know like uh, publish uh, java package java with maven java with and uh, because it's a java source code so somehow an android is also showing there uh, even deploy workflows are also there like you wanted to uh, deploy to ecs google cloud jkey i mean like openshift uh, kubernetes IBM Cloud, Azure Web App, you have different options available there. If you wanted to scan your Docker images, if you wanted to scan your Spotify scan, you wanted to do like Codacy scan, you wanted to perform. I mean, like you wanted to uh, really do the code scans also. So there are a lot of possibilities and uh, options which is uh, really available. And you can use these different options. You can, uh, you know, explore these options. And if you scroll down, the other continuous integrations options are also uh, really available there. So whatever the uh, like uh, workflows, these are all defined uh, workflows, which is uh, pretty much available. So it's giving you and benefit to not create these from a scratch because in Jenkins, you as an individual needs to put an effort to create the pipelines. But here it's not like that here. It's going to be an automated workflows. So I will pick up a, a Java with Maven. I can go for Docker also. Some instructions that okay. If you're going to do any kind of a pull request on master or on a push activity on master, so this uh, workflow or this pipeline will be executed. Jobs are going to run on a Ubuntu latest, which is a kind of a, a ready made environment provided by GitHub. Uh, Right now we are using a uh, kind of a GitHub free account so we can uh, trigger a pipeline. But uh, guys, when you're going to run it up uh, into the uh, like on premises, so uh, when you work for the enterprise, so you have to uh, then uh, manage or work uh, for the slaves. So but yes, you can definitely go and have the slaves managed and uh, you can manage that. You can work with those part. So the options are pretty much uh, available and uh, you can take care of those kind of setup there. So code checkout is happening, setting up uh, the Java runtime and uh, I mean running the Maven command. Uh, if you wish, like uh, you wanted to manage uh, or modify this command, uh, it again depends on you. Like uh, if you really wanted to do that kind of stuff here. So it's a kind of an automatic uh, generated pipeline. Zero contributions I have done. Of course, as per your project, if you wish like uh, some uh, additional step uh, required or something like that is there. For example, uh, uh, you wanted to deploy Kubernetes. Or Docker. So you can put up a Docker build or Docker login, Docker image and uh, build step. So you can on that and you will find out that it will tell you that okay uh, this is the step which you have to use you can copy and you can paste it up also or you can go through the complete uh, you know like a uh, kind of a marketplace listing that how to perform it up there i can definitely go for a ready made uh, complete workflow of a docker image also but it's not like a, uh, you don't have a capability later on if now you wanted to add uh, the docker step you can easily do with the help of the marketplace or options which is coming up here so you can definitely see that uh, what are the different options you really wanted to utilize and uh, you wanted to put it up here and then according to that it's going to really work so uh, i'm going to continue with the pipeline i'm going to say commit i'm going to go to my repo you'll see here that there is a mark here which is coming up in a like a little bit uh, brownish color, which shows me that yes, uh, because now the good thing is that every time you're going to do a commit, so there will be a mark available here, which will tell you that uh, the pipeline is going to be executed. S success or failure, you will be able to see from this check mark here. So if there is a, a kind of a cross available, it means that uh, your code is not good. 
So developers is going to get an instant feedback. So they don't have to, to uh, ask someone to run the builds and uh, do that kind of and stuff. So it's an instant feedback which the developers are going to get over here by going up and uh, invoking the uh, particular, uh, you know, like an uh, script over here, the pipeline here. So you can see like it shows check mark here, right? So I can go to the GitHub Actions. See my workflow here. Right now I'm using a uh, basic environment, guys, but uh, again, uh, remember it, it's a cloud, purely cloud platform. You're not running these builds on your local system. It's all happening onto a, a remote machine. You're also getting a kind of an uh, Java application here. So you are not uh, like, I mean, you can definitely invoke a Tomcat Apache deploy step or you can invoke Ansible or whatever wish, like uh, you wanted to go for a Docker image build, you wanted to upload to the Artifactory. There are different options and uh, uh, flexibilities which we will be able to get here. Can we add uh, more than uh, one more thing I wanted to specify here? You can see here in the top, it's actually setting up the job where it's showing me you that yes, there is a shareable like it's uh, basically going for a kind of a cloud provisioning. It's uh, before running the builds, it's provisioning the infrastructure, and then on top of that, uh, the build is getting triggered. So good thing is that uh, let's say if you have a Jenkins uh, installed, then if uh, that Jenkins is there for two days or three days or four days, you have to uh, like uh, you know basically go for the license or you have to pay for that infrastructure for whole uh, full day, even if you're not using it up on weekends or something like that. But with the Git tops, the good thing is that uh, uh, if you're using it for 10 minutes, you have to pay for 10 minutes. If you're using for 20 minutes, you have to pay for 20 minutes. And if you're using for 30 minutes, you have to pay for 30 minutes. It's basically work like that, that how these things are really going to work over here. All right. And can I add multiple workflows? Yes, definitely. Of course, I can have uh, multiple workflows. I can have uh, one more uh, workflow over here, which is uh, about a Docker image. Okay. It's going to build a Docker image. Of course, my I have to do Docker login, Docker push, and all that stuff I have to do there, right? So uh, definitely, I'm going to perform that part. But as of now, I'm just going to see that uh, how my Docker image is really going to perform, and uh, it's going to uh, execute here. One thing I missed out in. It's not taking care of my build, so. Uh, Right, so I, I wanted to go for a customization. I can do that. I can also like uh, add the Maven step, uh, like a drag drop, uh, a drag and drop is also available. But, but it's like up to me that how I really wanted to manage that. We'll go to the actions. The Docker image is also going to run over here. See, Maven project. Maybe when code base is getting built out, right? So that's something which is getting generated. And post that, my Docker image is also going to be built out here. See? It's transferring because that the bar file which we have built out, it's getting transferred in the Docker image. So if you don't run the Maven build, it's not uh, really going to work properly for you over here. So this is a kind of an execution we are doing and you know I can do anything. I mean, it just uh, like uh, I'm just keep on adding my commands 
uh, Docker push. Uh, I can get a Docker build and push a ready made task from the marketplace. Include over here. Uh, you can authenticate uh, to the uh, EKS, Elastic, uh, AWS Elastic uh, Kubernetes cluster, uh, Azure Kubernetes cluster, Google cluster, or any kind of a cloud. You can uh, reach from here and the code will be deployed. So the best thing is that uh, the developers uh, are like a kind of uh, uh, confident enough to uh, do the code changes and modifications because an instant feedback they are getting like within uh, uh, like a uh, five ten uh, uh, minutes uh, they will be able to get the feedback here plus the thing is that uh, they don't have to depend on someone else on this they don't have to hire a new devops engineer i mean like the pipelines are ready made coming over here right so just a basic understanding or a basic uh, things are required so that uh, we would know like uh, how these things are uh, really going to work and uh, we will be able to manage those stuff. Here. So otherwise it's not uh, something which is definitely going to manage in a different aspect. All right, so uh, you can see and after that once it's done, so the uh, infrastructure will be cleaned up also. And uh, if you're using an enterprise account, so uh, because I have used this enterprise accounts a lot, so uh, usually the uh, cost, the license cost which comes up to you or the final cost which comes in there. It only comes up uh, for a couple of hours for a whole month because you're not going to keep your infrastructure all the time up and running. It's uh, going to be uh, just uh the uh, you know like an uh, you know cost over here so that's all it's going to happen over here so this is the uh, you know benefit of which we will be getting with the help of gitops i mean uh, you know you don't uh, necessarily need to invest in any of the additional infrastructure here so that's that's how uh, gitops uh, really works and uh, uh, you can see uh, you know yourself that uh, creation of a pipeline is not going to spend or take much more time over here as compared to any other skill set here. Uh, guys, it was freezed or uh, it was like uh, OK after some time. OK. So this is how the GitOps pipeline really works. What you have to do is that you have to just go to the new workflow and uh, you know like uh, you're just going to select with some presets and uh, you know as you can see uh, in my code repository, uh, I have already shared the link to you guys so you will select uh, in your code repository also. These workflows are really going to have some instructions that uh, how my you know like a uh, uh, kind of uh, you know instructions are there how these executions are uh, really going to work here so definitely that's the uh, mechanism which really works and uh, we will be able to have that kind of end set up there right and zero understanding i mean you as an individual uh, don't have to spend uh, uh, too much of the cost there like uh, it's like something which is going to be very very less cost one second guys i think uh I can give everyone access to unmute and ask for the questions. Uh, so Rishika, can you give the uh, access to the participants so that they can ask the questions? Sure, um, sure. Just a moment. Give me a moment.
So guys, you your can... mic is enabled. You can unmute yourself and uh, ask your queries. Hi Anuj, hello. Yeah, hi. I'm audible. So yeah, yes, yes. actually, due to internet issue, I missed half of your class. So like, uh, I in my current company, I work on DevOps thing in DevOps. Okay. So yeah, do you have any paid course for DevOps like end to end? Like I am working in like uh, there are uh, already written script. So I manage uh, pipelines. I understand. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I want to learn uh, mm -hmm. all DevOps end to end. So yeah. If, yeah. How to do uh, the things from the scratch and you know like setting up the things, right? Yes. Yes, definitely. And uh, for that, uh, you know, Prabhakar and uh, Rishika will you know definitely help you and provide you the information that when the next batch is going to start it and all. So a lot of information will be provided by them. So uh, just wait for some yeah. couple of minutes more. Yeah. Sure. Thanks. Anyone else having any kind of a doubts or questions? Guys, I have shared uh, the repository also. So this repository you can uh, click on fork and uh, you can fork it up there. So when you're going to fork it up, so you will also import uh, the pipelines and uh, every account, every one of you, uh, if you have your own GitHub account, you will be able to invoke these pipelines free of cost. Any more queries, guys? So we are, um, you know, having one more announcement for you guys. Uh, we are giving a certificate of participation to the attendees of this webinar. And uh, I'm going to provide you the link over the chat window. You can click on that link and um, Fill up the information form and yeah, that certificate will be uh, issued to you within 48 hours. You'll get an email attached to that. Cert uh, uh, that certificate will be attached to that email. We are providing the link over the chat window. Just a moment. Any more queries, guys? So I've pasted the link uh, for the certificate can, of participation. Can we access the recording? Yes, this you can get this recording on our YouTube channel. It will be uploaded within 24 hours. OK, thank you. Yeah. Now what's your uh, YouTube channel name? We are providing you the link of the same. OK. Hi, I'm not able to see the chat. Could you please help me on that? OK, so there is an option for chat. Uh, just a moment. So are you joined with the laptop or mobile phone? Yeah, I joined with laptop. You joined with laptop, so it should be visible, clearly visible on the top. There are few options like chat people and then yeah. reactions. Yeah, yeah I can so there see is an option your for chat. download. Yeah, yeah, I can see your download link. The first link that you have posted around uh, right. 736, but I'm not able to see the, uh, the current uh, 
message that you have posted on the chat. Oh, mm -hmm. it's showing that uh, I'm left this chat, but I still am in this chat. So can you please uh, rejoin this meeting? Yeah, sure. Yeah. And if there is an issue again, uh, you can give me your email ID. I'll drop you the link over the email itself. Guys, our team has provided you the YouTube channel link, our LinkedIn uh, link. So we are, uh, you know, conducting such webinars every month. You guys can follow us on LinkedIn and you get the updates for the upcoming webinars and the events which we used to, you know, organize every month. Any more technical queries you are having? OK, we are again sharing the PDF link. You can download the pre PDF uh, tutorial of the. Just a moment, I'm sharing it on the chat window. That tutorial is, uh, you know, instant. You can instantly download that tutorial by filling up the form. That link is there on the chat window and. Um, if you have not received the link for the certificate of participation you are not able to you know click on that link you guys can provide your email id we can you know send you the link over the email uh, rishika again yeah uh, share that uh, certificate link on chat i can able to access the chat but uh, i can't uh, view that link just a moment i have shared it again okay I've shared the link for PDF download as well and uh, for the certificate certificate of participation both. Mm, OK, yeah, yeah, I got it. OK. So any more queries guys? Our next batch is going to start from uh, 11th of March. We have uh, provided you the link discount link earlier as well. We are sharing that link again. Wait a minute. So we have this offer running for uh, only for the webinar day. But if you want to, you know, uh, think about it and make the payment by tomorrow, that is also fine with us. We can extend this offer. Uh, this, this coupon is valid till tomorrow. And um, you can click on uh, the link which has been provided to you for our website. Uh, the course link, I'm directly giving you the course link also on the chat window. Guys, I hope that everybody has filled up the form for getting the certificate of participation. We will be sending you the email attached with that certificate of participation within 48 hours. So I hope everybody has filled up the information to get the certificate of participation of this webinar. Guys, please thumbs up. OK. OK. So fine, I think we are good to go for this webinar and uh, thank you all for attending this uh, session. And um, um, uh, thank you Anuj for the wonderful uh, 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 session. And um, guys, please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for accessing the recording of this webinar. We have the recordings of our previous webinars also uploaded on this uh, our YouTube channel. So you guys uh, subscribe to that and uh, access the recording of all our webinars which has happened in the previous months. Um, subscribe to our, uh, uh, sorry, follow us on LinkedIn also. 
so that you get uh, the information, get the updates of the latest company, you know, events and whatever happenings are there in the company. So uh, subscribe to us on YouTube, follow us on LinkedIn. Please provide your feedback to us on the Glassdoor and uh, Trust Pilot also. It is not going to take much of your time, but it will really going to help us um, as an organization. So thank you. I think uh, thank you all. Thank you, thank you everybody for attending this session. I'm not able to proceed with that certificate. I'm getting a error on that. What should I do? OK.